Hey everybody, it's Eric Johnson. In today's video, what we're gonna talk about is off season. What are we gonna do? We're gonna mix it up a little bit. We're gonna talk about three common sense tips to help you kind of structure a better off season program. So here we go, check it out. So what we're gonna talk about today are three common sense things. We're gonna put in some video, just kind of illustrate some of the things we're talking about. But number one is nutrition. One of the things we always focus on is good, clean nutrition. Now, some people take that the wrong way, and just like anything else we've done for years, you can't be so restrictive, but you want to have the majority of what you're doing. If 80% of the time you're eating good food, you want a lean protein vegetables, a good quality healthy starch, good healthy fats, that's what a meal should look like. And as a hard training athlete, if you're trying to achieve maximum results, going out, eating fast, food, drinking sodas and, and eating candy bars is clearly not going to be your recipe for getting bigger, stronger and leaner. So does that mean you can't eat those things? It doesn't mean that at all. It means that those things need to be 10, 15, max 20% of the time. You want 80% of your time focused on good, solid nutrition, cooking your meals, planning your meals, meal frequency, everything else that's super critical. Second tip we want to focus on is the weight room. One of the core things we want to do with the weight room is that we want to be including our Olympic lifts and that means you have to put a technical focus on your training. So you should be in there. And the reason I love Olympic lifts, there, there's so many to outline, and I'm not going to do that in this video, but the quick answer is they're multi-joint, they're sequential, and they really expose flexibility and balances and that sort of thing. So you definitely want to be learning the technique. And remember, Olympic lifting is an Olympic sport all on its own. So the technique is super critical. It doesn't mean we're training to be lifters. It means we need to train efficiently so that we're not putting unnecessary stress. And we're also giving us that feedback to look at our range of motion and those sorts of issues. So putting the emphasis on the technique and developing good quality technique and like I lightly touched on, mobility and flexibility are huge, huge, huge. In the off season, you really wanna be spending time looking at those items. Third thing we wanna be focusing on is throwing. And that goes without saying. I saved that for last because we're throwers and that's what we need to do. So again, with the throwing chain reaction system, how do we look at two seconds? If you haven't seen our two second video, check it out. But that's the challenge. You have a, something that occurs and essentially two seconds and how are we going to break that down? Remember, throwing is unnatural. So you're going to have to learn what you do, what are the objectives of each pillar or position, and then what are the positions that allow you to achieve those positions. So the core thing we talk about is throwing is super unnatural. And so what you want to do is you have to lay, drill and train positions. So off season is a great time to really get ahead. We've had a lot of huge jumps for years. I think one of our biggest jumps, uh, we've had you know 70 foot in one season is the discus. We had a, a kid who improved 17 foot years ago in the shot we get a very often 10 12 feet and then real common is six to eight feet in the shot and 25 to 35 feet in the discus those are pretty common things one of the reasons that occurs is because we're breaking things down and that unnatural movement of throwing we're training and we're teaching reps to make that unnatural movement become natural and that's what's important so these are just kind of your core focuses we're going to be talking about more of this in the coming weeks as so many of you guys begin to lay out things don't shoot yourself in the foot don't lay out all this great training program and eat bad don't put so much emphasis on your nutrition that it's becoming miserable. You know, you have no energy in the weight room because you're not taking in enough calories. And then all the above, those first two things you're screwing up. So now you're throwing or you're just throwing and you're not putting the time and energy into getting yourself stronger, better range of motion, better flexibility and getting yourself bigger, stronger and leaner. So the all three of those go together. It's common sense. So go ahead. Hopefully that's helpful. And if you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. And thanks for watching and we will see you on the next video. Be sure to check out our next videos. Be sure to subscribe. Visit our website for free videos. Click the links below. We have links to our free mini course. Check out our websites for camps and different detailed information. Throw farther faster by understanding the science with the throwing chain reaction system. Thanks so much for watching.